We're bringing you a report from Fox 26's Gabby Hart. While most people are preparing for the traditional holiday festivities and celebration, she brings us a story of a family that does their own thing their damn way. Here's a look at a day in the life of a polyamorous trio from in the greater Houston area. Yeah, this throuple we spoke with really lives life outside of the box. From the way they raise their children to the numerous businesses they've started together, they're giving Fox 26 an exclusive inside look at how they make their polyamorous lifestyle work for them. I just picked up one day and say, hey, man, I'm a king, and I feel that, you know, every king should have multiple women. Meet Bolo. Oh, Lord. Behind the walls of his southeast Houston home, nothing is traditional. It's a saying in the Bible where it says, every man and every woman shall seek the truth for themselves. You know, your mama and your daddy might not be down with it, but they say that in the Bible. You have to seek the truth for yourself. Now meet Bolo's two girlfriends, Big Yella and Coco Chanel. Was there ever any jealousy, in the, even in the beginning, trying to learn how to share the person that you love? No. I liked, her, I liked her from the beginning. Like, you know, this what brought her in. Bolo and Big Yella met about five years ago. He was already married and decided to become polyamorous. His ex-wife chose to leave the situation. Eventually, Bolo and Big Yella met Coco Chanel. It's really like a sister relationship. Like, uh, I always want Yella around. So I really love Yella, just how I love Bolo. The three of them now share a home and a bed. You gotta have a big bed. Everybody got to be able to fit. Everybody got to be comfortable. Oh, this is yellow. Uh-oh. This is yellow side. The middle is mine, of course. And that side is uh, Coco Chanel. What happens when everybody's not getting along, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, how does that work? Well, for one, we never not get along. We always come to never? an understanding. Okay. Yeah. Like, we never. come to an understanding about everything. You know, like I tell people all the time, they have to get along with each other. They have to respect and like and have a relationship with each other outside the guy. It's not going to work if it's just all about the guy. Both Coco Chanel and Big Yella have children with Bolo as well. I feel like, oh my goodness. <laughs> One second with the interview. <laughs> Babe. Hold up, baby. But this trio doesn't just sleep, eat, and raise kids together. They also make money together. I created EMC, Easy Money Camp, because I wanted to get a group of people that we can all make easy money together legally. And I'm going to look at the camera when I say this here. A lot of people think that Bolo is a pimp. Bolo is not a pimp. My girls don't do no selling unless it's hair, waist trainers, nails, or anything in that category. This right here is the EMC hoodie. Under the Easy Money Camp umbrella, they run and own numerous businesses, from EMC lawn care and security service to Sprinter Rentals, clothing, and a luxury wig shop and boutique called Real Hair. And they don't plan on stopping there. <laughs> Tours for them. When people can come in, you'll be able to see a lot of crocodiles, a lot of alligators. This thruple's lifestyle has attracted a lot of interest. Uh, I don't know what I want. Uh, yeah. Both, of course. More than 200,000 people follow Bolo's day-to-day -day life on Instagram. I'm doing better with multiple women than some guys doing with just one of them. They both got Hellcats. Both got their own separate bank accounts. They both running their own show in their own way. There is no cookie cutter way to what the right kind of relationship looks like. Dr. Viviana Coles is a local relationship therapist. And we asked her about the pros and cons of living a polyamorous lifestyle. But it doesn't come without a lot of complex challenges. If you already struggle with communication, whether it's sexual communication, emotional communication, or just honest communication, then polyamory isn't going to be something that suits you well. Dr. Cole says a lot of couples come into her office after failed polyamory attempts. And she suggests anyone looking to open their relationship should seek therapy beforehand to make sure it's the right fit for them. You must be able to have compersion. Compersion is a term that encompasses the idea that you experience pleasure vicariously when the, when the person that you love and the person that you're sexually involved with experiences pleasure with someone else. But she also feels that with the right communication and mindset, that polyamorous relationships can be long-lasting. If people are able to turn something that would normally break up a family 
into something that works for them and that is more cohesive, I'm a big fan of that. As far as Bolo, Coco Chanel, and Big Yellow go, it's been smooth sailing, and they plan to continue living happily ever after in polyamory. I think that it's a lot of men out here that want this. And you never know if your woman would agree with it if you don't ask her or tell her. You can't beat around the bush. You know, you got to actually see it. That, that keep you from being in a five-year five relationship. Then you get caught cheating. And then that five years, then went down the drain. Well, if you'd like to follow that Thruples journey, head over to our website, fox26houston.com. We'll have their Instagram names listed for you there. Also, over on my Facebook page, Gabby Hart News, I have a poll up. I'd like to know what you think about polyamory. Is it something you try or absolutely not? Go ahead and head over again, Gabby Hart News, and weigh in on the conversation. I'd love to know what you think. For now, I'm Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News. And we want to thank Gabby Hart for that report and make sure you all head over to our page to do the poll.